Good morning YouTube. Oh, a bit of a cloudy day this morning. Sea breeze as you can see by that tree over there. Oh, we've had a hectic time of it lately. Um, the missus had to go into a hospital. That was freaked me right out but she's all fine and home again now. Um, this video is mainly about the camper trailer but I'm going to um, just attach a few short video clips of a system I'm currently working on. Um, I've still got to go out and finish programming it. Uh, so that'll be towards the end of the video. There'll be some clips of a new system we're working on. Um, it's a 20 kilowatt system. We managed to squeeze 16 kilowatts of panels on his roof and he's still got another four kilowatts that has to go up on a stand but that's a later job for them. They're going to have enough power I think with the 16 kilowatts. But that's a absolutely beautiful system. I'll do another video on it when it's uh, when we commission it. Um, but for now it's still in the building. All right, what are we doing on the camper trailer? Okay, all the electrics is coming out, um, including this inverter. We're making some huge changes. Um, we're putting new batteries in. Now my battery choice, I'll attach a photo and a, the, the um, cyclic life of these batteries. Um, yeah, I'm, I've decided to go with uh, LiPo batteries or lithium ion batteries for the camper trailer, mainly because of the weight. Uh, we got a really huge trip planned for next winter when it's winter down here, we're going to go up north. I, I think they call that snowbirding because all the snowbirds head up to the warmer climate. Anyway, so we're putting in two new lithium uh, batteries in here. Um, I'm going to redo the wiring. We're putting a larger inverter in. Um, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes in the trailer. So I just thought I'd, I'd let you know we've just started to rip everything out. We're waiting on gear to arrive. Of course, the uh, solar charge controller and the um, switching gear for the solar charge controller just there is all staying. Um, it's just that I'm going to rip everything out, reposition it all on the board, and we'll be right. You know, we've got a what's that? A 320 watt panel or something. Uh, split cell solar panel up there, so we've got heaps of solar. We carry another portable 240 volt, uh, 240 volt, 240 uh, 40, 40 uh, watt solar panel with us, a fold out kit. So that gives us over 500 watts, um, nearly 550 watts, and then we've got the 110 watt panel up on the car, which we can plug in as well. So um, that gives us about uh, 660 watts total solar to run our camper, which is heaps and awesome, totally, totally awesome. Um, Ziggy's uh, like uh, Ziggy's good again now. She it turned out to be an inner ear, a bad inner ear infection, but she just got all dizzy and 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 collapsed and. And um, yeah, I can't sort of carry her anymore. So we called the ambulance and took her into hospital. And oh, they prodded and poked and took lots of blood and took images of her heart and her brain. And she's 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 fighting foot like fighting fit, fit as a Mallee bull. So um, that's good news. Our last visit to the doctors tomorrow, Friday. No, today's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. So um, on Friday, our last visit to the doctor is. Oh, goodness me, but it was scary. It was scary because you don't know what's going on. You know, she's never given me any problems for years and years and years. And 
then she gets this turned out to be an inner ear, a bad inner ear infection, and it was a pain in the butt, literally. Uh, anyway, so we got one of the fridges out already because um, I had some measurements to do uh, to order my batteries. Um, we'll go into lithium batteries. Uh, lithium batteries have got their pluses, but they've got some pretty big minuses when it comes to portable power, depending on what sort of battery you go. And not all lithium batteries are equal. Um, some of them aren't any better, apart from being lighter, but they're not any better than AGMs. Um, I bought um, the batteries I need for the job, and yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're incredible. They've got um, the, the, the minimum cyclic life, if I drain them 100% dead, the minimum cyclic life on them is 2,000 cycles. Um, but they do have their drawback, and not all lithium batteries are equal. Um, like, they're limited to how many amps you can pull out of them. Um, like, these are batteries that look like that 12 volt, you know, they look, they, they look the same. Uh, but you can only pull a maximum of 80 amps. Well, some of them I saw, you could only pull a maximum of 20 amps out of them. Um, I got... Uh, 80 amps because that's all I need out of each battery. I'm putting two battery in. That's 160 amps. Uh, I'm only putting in a two uh, kilowatt inverter, so the, the the inverter matches the batteries. You can get the 100 amp ones, and um, it's just the way they're wired inside. And every six months, if you're running batteries in in, in parallel, like I do in the camper, with the lithium batteries. You have to, the guy said it's best to unplug them and charge them separately every every um, six months. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to wire for that. So all I've got to do is flick a switch and charge each battery separate. And that just keeps them in balance. Um, yeah, so lithium batteries are great. They do have some pretty serious drawbacks. If you're going to draw, if you're going to, like a lead acid battery, uh, the AGMs, I mean, you can just suck. The juice straight out of it, you know, where there's no limitations um, or nowhere near as many limitations as you do with lithium. Anyway, I'm rattling on. Chris, you're rattling on. Stop rattling on. This is just a short catch up video because some of you have said, Chris, you haven't made a video for a while. What's going on? And so I'm telling you all what's going on. I've been, yeah, I've been busy. I've been busy, people. Um, I've been worried sick with my wife, but everything turned out fine there. Um, but that first night when we didn't know anything, and it was really scary for me, because she is the love of my life. We are soulmates. Um, I met her when I was 21, and we've been together ever since. And we're both, you know, in our 60s. I won't say how far into our 60s. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty scary, people. It's, it's really, really scary um, when something like that happens. Really scary. Anyway, um, we're all good now. So um, I'm moving back ahead with the project because everything came to a grinding stop when that happened. So... Uh, I'm still waiting for gear to get here. I've got a lot of gear on order. Um, so yeah, once I redo these electrics with these batteries and the way I'm going to wire them, uh, we should not have to touch the batteries in this camper trailer, all the electrics in this camper trailer, unless the inverter blows up, which is always quite possible, uh, for many, many, many years, you know? Um, why would the inverter blow up? Well, inverters, you just never know with these small inverters. You just you just never know um, what what sort of um, cyclic life they've got built into them. This this one's been really good. They don't make this one anymore. Um, and it was a bit overpriced uh, for, for what it was. Um, 
So I bought another one, and that should be here whenever it gets here. Um, with Australia Post being the way it is, thankfully the batteries are coming uh, through Toll, Toll Epic, and Toll is epic. Yeah, Toll, you're great. You know, you get stuff from Queensland to here in three to four days. Bloody brilliant. Brilliant. All right, so there it is. Have a look, have your last look at it. It's going to change. All right, keep safe, everybody. Keep healthy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Frog in the throat. Keep healthy. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.